All righty, I have a really action-packed update for you guys today. We're going to talk about so much. There's a whole other construction project that is starting at Canada's Wonderland, and I have some thoughts on it, so I'm going to talk about that in this video. Um, but let's get it started. Over at Moosehorn, they are still working on plumbing. As you can see, there is still a lot of pretty serious work to do on plumbing. But remember, some of this is outside of Moosehorn Falls, so don't get it confused with being behind on Moosehorn Falls. Moosehorn Falls is almost connected um, to the grid. So electrically, it looks like they've completed Moosehorn Falls in terms of electrical work. It's connected to the new main building. Plumbing, there is still a little bit of work left to do. It is about 90% up the tower now, heading towards that start of the slide, um, and a little bit of work on the ground left to do. So we're still looking, if I had to estimate, maybe a week or two. I still have a pretty bad cough, by the way. Um, so I'm trying to hold it in. <coughs> we're maybe a week or two away from the slide opening. If you can look, they have some speakers installed on the slide's queue line. Um, and the raft, I, I believe, is ready to go. They had someone cleaning off the slide today, which is also a really good sign. They were uh, dusting off with a leaf blower any uh, sand, dirt, or debris that got onto the slide. So that's a good sign. Um, and as you can see, they've put, laid down the cement gravel um, to pour concrete. So they'll be pouring those paths uh, for the infrastructure of the slide, uh, the landscaping. Uh, for our 2025 uh, project, we have some water um, excavation trucks. So now they are in the Extreme Skyflyer plot of land. If I had to make a wild guess on what these people were doing, is I, they seem to be removing the sprinkler system along the path of the coaster. It could be the sprinkler system or any other electrical component that's in a direct path where they need to dig for the 2025 project. Now, more interesting is this new project over at Action Theater. If you remember, they kind of gutted the inside. Well, now they've stacked the area. So this area is really empty in terms of things blocking the path. And you can see some vehicles have been in here. Now, if you look, they've laid down what looks like crane gravel. So on a construction site, when a crane's going to come in, um, they lay down this gravel so the crane doesn't sink into the mud. Um, and it's a lot more stable. So that's my guess here. They've laid down some gravel for some heavy equipment to move in. And my guess is it's going to be either um, an excavation type vehicle that's just going to rip the building apart or a crane that's going to lift the roof segments um, apart and to lift something big into the building. Now with them gutting the inside, my guess is there is a huge chance that they're just going to rip this building apart. Um, but we'll have to wait and see. That's an assumption. Over on the 2025 project, as you can see, they've done a lot of work with footings, um, but they took an early day off on Friday. Uh, it's obviously the long weekend, so no more um, threaded rod has been added to the station and brake run area. The only threaded rod that's been installed are these three footings, um, so that's interesting. Uh, outside of that, they've just been working on the station, um, but they have worked really fast. Um, it's moving really quickly. As you can see, cement, concrete has been poured in those caissons. Um, and there's been some circles cut in the mountain. I believe it's really hard to see in there. I think I have some footage here. But yeah, they were smoothing uh, out the uh, footings for our new 2025 project. <coughs> now, I do have some tea that I'm going to share on Patreon in the uh, June newsletter that's going to release soon um, about track arrival. Um, and some other things. So stay tuned there. But yeah, here's some shots of them doing the water evac along the route of the coaster. And there's the surveying crew. Again, when they're doing construction, they do constant surveying to ensure that nothing's changed on the land, that everything that like, for example, when they're putting footings in, that they're aligned properly um, and so forth. So um, it's a it's a huge project. And again, um, whatever you've heard about this coaster project, uh, don't fret it's a really big project and i'm really excited for it i have been hearing some really cool and big things about this coaster so i'm really excited on how this turns out um and it's again a dual launch coaster so two launch two major launches on this coaster so i'm excited for how that turns out um i'm trying to think if there's anything else i can share in this video that's different so just that the footings are done um, again, remember that the electrical for the station is essentially already ready to connect to the ride. So they're ahead in that aspect. Um, 
outside of that, uh, there hasn't been any other mountain destruction. There should be, based off of my prediction, some more holes cut into the mountain um, to make way for support columns and coaster track. Whether it's going to launch out the top or come through Tunnel 1, um, that's all up in the air. Uh, there are things under tarps in the mountain as well uh, as equipment that can cut concrete in the mountain. And there are some circular cutouts um, in the mountain as well. You know what? I'm going to try and actually insert one of those on the screen right now for you, a better shot of it. But you can see it kind of like up there in the right corner behind that door that's open. Um, this is just all the Kason Company's uh, equipment. And then there should be a bunch of... Uh, stuff like threaded rod and stuff stored in the mountain for the coaster um outside of that uh if there's anything else to share um construction is going to be full force just continuous every weekday that isn't a holiday moving forward um and it's going to be a very rapid construction project like really just footing 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 along the path of the coaster um, but yeah, here is an in-park shot of the construction that is going on along Action Theater. Again, this tree fell over. I don't think that has anything to do with the construction. And it took out some of the old fencing, the old lookout point for the Whitewater Canyon area. But there's that gravel that was being spread out along the side of the entire perimeter of the building, actually, um, of Action Theater. So again, whether they're going to lift off the roof of Action Theater or just completely excavate it, there is a construction fence set up. Um, and definitely some signs of some activity about to start. There is still the facade of the um, Spirit Manor Haunted House outside Action Theater. So that's a little confusing because if they're about to demolish the building, you'd think Wonderland would want to save the facade. Um, and am I even using the right word there? That doesn't sound like the right word. There's two versions of it. Anyways, uh, someone will correct me in the comment section. Um, and save it and remove it before demolishing the building. So that's the only thing that's kind of making me believe that this building isn't getting demolished, demolished. Um, is Spirit Manor's um, kind of decorations are still up. But yeah, that's all I have for you guys today. Thanks so much for watching. Um, and yeah, have a good one, guys. Bye.